<laughs> Wait, why would we go Jurassic Park? I swear we're going Lord of the Rings. Guys, come on, I didn't what? get the memo. No, isn't that Jurassic Park? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> water though. Oh, my gosh. Water though. Don't I was sick and tired of no, you guys no, doing it's, that, by it's the way. It's more higher pitch. It's water though. Like, you guys were addicted to that for a month, and I hated every bit of it. Yeah, me and Spencer just saying those. I remember when Alex went off because we were singing. I don't oh, actually. Fuck. I don't okay, that. listen. I do not Alex, need to like, go into Alex a rant tonight. Alex threatened to go off. <laughs> Speaking of things that you don't remember, so, Chris, you forgot. You literally. Did I ever tell you? Did I ever tell on the podcast the story of when we played Red Dead Redemption? And literally, we had to. How was he going to forget if you never told? We him? were playing <laughs> poker. I th- was it poker. Was it poker, Chris? Poker. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was poker. Yeah, oh. we were playing. We were playing poker, and uh, we were trying to get an achievement. Of course, and we were so tired during this. And Chris had we to were ask doing this me. For an hour. Chris had to ask me, literally, and I shit you not. I say this without any hyperbole. A, like every five seconds. Wow, that's a big word for you. Hyperbole. Hyperbole. Every five. That's seconds. the actual word. He had to ask me. You shut up with the big words. He had to ask me. Yeah, Kevin oh, doesn't understand. He had to ask me like five times. Oh yeah, Spencer, he what were you? Ask you. Okay, someone move on. <laughs> Did he question? I, no, no, we were back. I needed to know his cards for the achievement, and we were doing it for like an hour. So I just kept asking, and since we were so tired and just bored I, I kept forgetting what he was saying so i would ask him hey spencer what are your cards again he's like eight seven and eight so i'm like all right wait spencer what are your cards again and that was about 10 minutes just just that yeah, over and sorry. over again i had to be on my tv or else that thing would have been like fucking crazy loud Jesus. at that point i would just rather pull my own fucking teeth out well yeah he, like he he literally like teeth every out. second was like spencer what were your cards again and i'd be like <laughs> five and two and you'd be like, all right, yeah. so let's see. If I fold now, and if I do that, but, um... Hey, Spencer, what were your cards again? <laughs> and I'm just like, like he actually uh, like, forgot. <laughs> like, my brain had to focus on just those two numbers. If I even tried to think of something else, like, I got an itch. Oh, shit, what were the numbers? Like, yeah, just, they just, they go away. They're gone. <laughs> Forever. That reminds me, Spencer, remember that time I called Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, dude, that was like 15 Spencer, minutes ago. by the way, wait, have we told the audience this? Spencer's technically not have, short uh, anymore. Spencer's height. Yeah, he's taller than Fuck you. off. He's he's Shh. like barely. Like at a certain Shh. angle. Let's what? Ju- let's we just keep it a secret. Angle. Let's just all just take a minute to That's appreciate That's not something the, the audience needs to know. We got to keep it a secret. We said this in late night yeah. number 8. We, whoever's editing that, whoever's editing this episode. We said this in late night number 10 or no, number 9. We did? What the fact that what the, the fact that Spencer's yeah. taller than Chris? Shut the fuck up. That was said in the beginning. Damn it. Now that's my embarrassing thing. Because we were asking about this late night 11. We all have Camden something jerks off on we have to bleep. Camden jerks off on <laughs> Alex works up. So ah, you fucking son of a bitch. Wait, I thought Camden worked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so wait, Chris Spencer needs taller than I'm me. Is that my thing or Spencer's thing? Or is it a thing we share? No, 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 Chris. Chris, Chris you got this what? wrong. Alex gets... Like, Alex's car breaks down <laughs> the side of the road. Gabriel works yeah. up. Uh, that, I'm, gonna, definitely. I'm gonna castrate you fuckers. Like, none of you are gonna make it. <laughs> I will see to it personally that the Grim Reaper is gonna fuck you guys. Ooh, that's how oh, to bring the baby great. oil. Alex, what would you do if the Grim Reaper showed up at your house right now? I was like, all right, time to go. Uh, if he asked me, be to like, go, fucking take me. God, I would ask him if I could have about another good thirty minutes of just cussing. <laughs> <laughs> the, maybe maybe time not this. even that. If, maybe I could ask, like, listen, can I get just get twenty four minutes of sleep, and the other six minutes, can we just play? <laughs> Warframe or some shit like that because you gotta imagine I mean think about this no one ever usually thinks about it but I really want you to take some take this into serious consideration like yeah death shows up at your door but you know he's he's a negotiable man he, he he's probably done a couple things every now and, <laughs> and the then the last thing you ask for and, is sleep <laughs> well I mean fuck <laughs> he's about to make you sleep you're gonna forever. get plenty well, of sleep think about it like, <laughs> that's like asking for a nap before as, you go okay, to bed okay as you get older you're gonna learn to appreciate sleep a lot fucking more because sleep is literally the best thing, just in, in, in general. But anyway, yeah, let's just say no death waffles. does show up at your door and is like, hey, bitch, time to go. You're like, all right, well, uh, fuck it. Let's Bill and Ted this bitch up, and how about I play for my soul? And then you just, like, 1v1 him on Halo Reach. 
You 1v1 him on Rust. Right. That's how you Dude, Daniel, that's yeah, what I was about you to say. Do. I was about to say Rust. <laughs> like if Daniel like if Daniel does that, then he's set. It's like a trial by combat. Oh uh, yeah. Daniel, true. is it true that before you like met any of us, you would go on Call of Duty and like hook up a second controller and just shoot? Yep, that's how I got good at video games. Like he, you would just plug in a second controller and then you would yep. run around the map and I try and find Xbox where that character Live. spawned and then you just kill him. Yep. Yep. <laughs> wow. I'm being Since... dead serious. I didn't have Xbox Live and um, my brother wasn't always around to you know for us to play together. So I would just plug in a second controller, find where he's at. I thought him. I was lonely when I was making Hunger Games 3 map, just pushing, <laughs> p- placing so snow on every fucking block game. in the but, world. But believe it or not, that's that's what made me be somewhat good at video games. Wow. Like, before then, somewhat I Somewhat good. You're the are best you, in I deep sheep. Uh, not that we're all you really are. Well, good. Well, I don't want to be arrogant, so... Okay. You know. But he's the best at but. shooters. Yeah. 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 True. He's a he's a fast Blow learner though. Blade. Like if we're playing like that uh Battle Block Theater video was a perfect example of how oh me and Daniel God. can adapt quickly. <laughs> I'm gonna ride this bitch. Yeah, they, they thought they were gonna destroy us. I was like, no, no, I got grenades. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel, I actually still <laughs> laugh at the I'm gonna ride this bitch <laughs> from <laughs> from that video. What was the thing you kept I, saying? Was it eat a cock or like, Oh yeah, no, he's like, oh my god, eat my cock! Eat my cock! Eat my cock! Eat my cock! <laughs> but the funniest thing, the funniest thing I still remember about that video to this day is not even in the video. It's right after, I think like half an so hour after that. Video. You're just fucking Daniel. Lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Camden. Glad for you to but, add but to the Dan- conversation. Daniel, Daniel just said, uh, he said to all of us, he said, um, I could have, com- or I could have committed murder and and admitted it on that video, and I wouldn't remember. Speaking that. of, w- wait, did we talk about Spencer's social security number? Or his oh, credit card yeah, number. Credit card number. I said Spencer that, uh, was saying this thing. Could, okay, yeah. wait, did we? Yeah. Wait, can I, I guess? Is it one, two, no, we one? Did. I believe Camden it. works at. God, I'm bad with numbers. Okay, you fuckers. We already told that story of how you were staying in my apartment and you were really tired and like I asked you what your number was and you just said it and I was like, wait, what? And then yeah. that was yeah, it. Yeah, we dude, we've told this story. Dude, I don't remember shit. If at you want to, if you want to go and see it, it's we've we've done this before too. It's, it's, it's the one with it's the one with stories. me, Robbie, and Chris talking about the Revenant. The, that's we need that's a secretary. Um, we need like a, we, we need do. a secretary to keep track of what we talked about. She, <laughs> she's got to be a woman. Nathan, get on it. Not we that that's sexist. Gay guy to satisfy our needs because these bitches ain't loyal. Uh-uh. Camden, I want to Can the secretary you. be blonde? Can the secretary be what? <laughs> blonde. <laughs> what kind of question is that? That'd be the shittiest secretary ever. But we want an Australian blonde. Well, wait, why Australian blonde? Do you have a type? You know why? You know why? <laughs> no, I'm. I don't. I'm know. thinking, and uh, that, nothing's you know showing why. up. <laughs> of course, I know your gears are. Your gears. They are. are turning. They're turning slowly, but they're turning. They're turning. Yeah. It reminds me of Patrick in that SpongeBob episode. <laughs> He like tried really hard to think. To, I don't know what he was fucking doing, but I, sometimes when I do that, I fart myself. Wait, was it fart. Team A? Is that what the reference is? Team Eyes, Team Visor. Oh, oh no, it's not no, that. But dude, me and Dan, me and Robbie now. will forever be Team A. Team Visor, oh, Margot Robbie, yep. Margot Robbie. No, the three of us are Team A. She's Margot not Australian. Robbie. Oh, she's not. Do it for Team Visor. Isn't she British? Yeah. Do it for Team. Do it for Team Visor. Wait, did did I ever tell the story on the podcast of how the name Laberni came to be? Actually, uh, if you think about it, none mm, of us have really said why our names are the way they are. Oh yeah, and that's oh, funny yeah, because that. I still I I've completely forgot of why your name is Crazy Jack. Could I could I explain the Laberni thing that. first cuz that actually has to do with All right, don't take too yeah, long. Spencer okay, so first. so pretty much um this is back when we were doing Hunger Games 1, we were like doing construction, you so like know no it's take long. Holy crap. No creative <laughs> mode, no nothing, none of that. Um, it's funny because wait, wait, this wait, wait, has wait, its wait, own wait, story wait, in wait, itself. Wait, Mr. Cox, Mr. Cox, it's a long story, but you see. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so to, to kind of cut it down, we were walking around the map and stuff like that, just placing down stuff, trying to find my way around. And at one point I got lost, and I tried to find my way to the cornucopia, um, and I heard Daniel, who was sneaking up behind me, going, Laburnum. And then he's like, I'm gonna catch you, Laburni. And then I'm just like, what? And so he kept saying that for the rest of the night. He was like, 
the boonie. <laughs> I don't he'd say like these weird things and stuff like that. I actually don't either. And 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 then just the next day he was like, "What's up, Laberni?" And I'm like, "Nothing much. How about you?" And stuff like that. And that was it. Kind of just snowballed from there. It, Daniel pulled it right out of his ass after trying to find it for so long. Like everything in his life. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly, Spencer, tell you the truth, I do not remember this. <laughs> But, yeah. all right, who's going next? Who's going next with their name? Alex. Uh, uh, I can Al- go next Alex. if you want me to. Go, Alex. Do it! All right, well, this all took place about Maybe six years ago, do. almost seven years ago. And, Damn. like, I was trying well, to come up with a name live, then. for, like, my Xbox Live account because I had just got done talking with this bitch <laughs> over, like, like over <laughs> X, like over Xbox Live customer support. Which, by the way, <laughs> if you ever have to communicate with these fuckers... Be prepared to write your suicide note because it is the most taxing <laughs> fucking activity you could ever engage in. They're pretty nice now. I've written my suicide note a long time ago. Alex has written a suicide book. <laughs> All right, anyway. I was just sitting there trying to come up with what I would want to be known as on Xbox. And at first, I really just couldn't think of anything. So I just started thinking of shit that I liked. So I kind of just took my personality from where I was in school at the time where I was just nuts, I was random, I was fucking all over the place, so I was like, oh, let me just slap a crazy on there, I like that, let's see what else I can put in there, and then I remembered, like, earlier that day, I watched Nightmare Before Christmas, and how much I fucking loved Jack Skellington, I'm like, okay, let's, uh, let's throw Jack in there, crazy Jack, that's got a nice ring to it, but we need to have a topper, what kind of topper are we gonna put in it? And then I was thinking, all right, let me, what, what, what's one of my favorite movies of all time? And then I remembered that my very, very first movie or horror movie that I ever saw was 28 Days Later. 28 Days Later is my all-time favorite horror movie. It's my all-time favorite zombie movie, but I just love it because it was different because I saw it like at a really, really, really young age and I didn't know like everything about it and so like once i saw it and i didn't know anything i was like oh god i gotta learn more about it so i i I used the last two digits 28 and that's how i came up with crazy jack 28 and it's and it's just stuck with me it's got it's had an ass ring for the past six years and um yeah that's that's pretty much my moisty story and that's how i'm sticking to it did you ever see 28 weeks weeks later later? yeah dude robbie what the fuck dude whoa (laughs) yep Team A. <laughs> Instantly, I thought of that. I actually, yep. I actually totally. have something to add to that. Uh, Shut the fuck up! I want to hear Alex's answer. Did you see Twenty Eight Weeks Later? Oh, did I see Twenty Eight Weeks Later? Yes. And you oh, think Twenty Eight Days Later is better? Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna have to talk about that later. But uh, uh, go ahead, someone else. <laughs> yeah. I, I just I'll want to quickly add something. Right, well, Spencer, shut your mouth. No, no, no. This is anyway. Ooh, talk to you. Spencer, Spencer, shut your mouth, mouth Spencer. This was... I vote for Spencer to talk. I'm different. Shut up, Chris. I, I, what the fuck is wrong with you? Okay, yeah, I wish you were dead. What the fuck yeah, makes you think he has rights? Okay, <laughs> so right, so what did you right. want to say? <laughs> Alright, let me get I, into I this. Think... All right. Just so you know, I All called right. next to talk. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, I gotta censor that too. <laughs> Okay, Wait, right, real quick though, I said now. something like in the very beginning of the podcast, Alex, and you didn't hear it whatsoever, oh and I'm really happy you didn't. Well, you see, here's the thing, Was it about I, mean, his- I had to turn down my shit so low to where I could actually, you know, where it can pick up on my voice and it won't pick up on your guys' voice. Uh, well, yeah, you cock juggling thunder cunt. Well, actually, I wanted to, I wanted to tell the audience about uh, that one thing that Alex said the other month that we always quote the... We were Spencer, you're getting off topic. We're, you're, what did we're he, doing what did name he say, though? He said something along the lines of... Chris, you're, you're encouraging him? He, he, yes, I am. You're encouraging him? Fuck you, you're not in the groove. You can't say shit. Oh. <laughs> you know what? You know what I can oh. say? You know what I can say? <laughs> Have fun. Hey, hey Daniel, what maybe. are you doing here? You're not on this channel anymore. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, um, Spencer, tell your goddamn motherfucking it, it, piece of shit. You guys are the only <laughs> ones escalating this. <laughs> um, I'm not. I'm good. Escalators, okay, Chris escalators, good. escalators. Thank you, Spencer. I've been quiet. Um, <laughs> Nathan's good too. Nathan's good to go to. <laughs> um, Alex said something like a couple months ago. What do you ago. mean I'm stalling? 
Fuck it, someone else tell it. I don't care anymore. So, <laughs> I don't even know what you were telling. What you're okay, saying. Okay, so anyway. Dude, what did Alex say a month ago that was really funny? I had called Nathan. Alex, what did you say a month ago that was funny? How about this? I actually think we should have Nathan say something. Fuck you. I, I called next. Fuck I you, you don't have dead. rights. <laughs> I'm, I must be a woman. I'm just letting this happen. Well, you aren't white, so. I, I, I can't even think of anything to say because it's just been chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, do you work at Oh, shit. Fuck Stop you, it. Daniel. I gotta yeah, edit here, so right? much. <laughs> okay. Alright, Spencer, what's the and story? I don't even remember what we were talking about. Okay, alright, well, I'm talking. No one can remember. No one remember. No, no, no. All right, no so, I was next Camden, day. shut up. You're trying to think. Anyway. No, I'm not trying to Camden, what's trying your, to why'd you name yourself CM Praiser 99? Even though that's I know the answer. I was, that's what I was trying to think. So you're thinking. You have the mic. I am sensing a pattern okay. between you and Chris. <laughs> oh, really? I don't see it. The wise words what of pattern? Nathan. We're both so, so that already just wrapped up Camden's name. Yeah, pretty much. Dang! Nathan the Savage, right, Daniel? I didn't get to talk, though. Like, you Camden, all are trying to fuck me over with this fucking bullshit. Camden. Is fucking not Camden, tell us. Me. Tell us, Camden. Enlighten us. Yeah, it's based off of Chris's name. Wow. All right, wow, that was, on. Honestly, Camden, yeah, there's... My heart is just... <laughs> it's touched right now by that. That was... <laughs> fuck someone up. give this man an Oscar. He deserves it more man, than Man, I've had bowel <laughs> movements that's had more... It's a long story, but I copied Chris's name. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't copy. I I asked for permission. I got copied. I get it. That mo that motherfucker named you, wait, Spencer. I actually gave you the idea though. Like I was like, no, please name it this. It'll be so cool. And you're like, all right, fine. All right. No, because I was trying to think of a name, and I was like, we should just be twins. And you were like, okay. So I was like, okay. And then you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? All right. So uh, Daniel, why is your name X Alien Seven? Even though it wasn't actually your name originally. Okay. Well, you have two see, stories to tell. No, see, here's actually the funny thing. I have three. All right. Oh, yeah. So, let's go back years ago. Back. Um, I was at my friend's house. We are playing some good old Halo 3. Well, yeah. this was, like, my second time ever playing the game. At this point, I had an Xbox. I didn't have Halo 3, and I didn't have Xbox Live. So, you know, I go over to my friend's house. I'm playing with him and his brother and another friend. So, there's four of us. We're playing Halo 3. And <coughs> sorry, they were all Spartans, and I was the only elite. So I'm playing as the alien. So I'm just going ham, like for my second or third time playing it. And these guys played all the time, and they're not—they're still—they still play Halo, and they're not bad at it at all. I was just going ham. I, I was raping them, to to say the least. And so they were getting, you know, annoyed and everything. And they're like, "You're like you stupid alien, get out of here! You're such a turd!" And everything. And they kept they kept saying stuff. And they're like, this stinking alien turd killed me again. So, because they were referring to me by that, because they were annoyed and everything. So, I put I put two and two together, and I came up with the name Alien Turd. And it just kind of stuck for a while. Yeah, but then uh, Microsoft decided to bend me over a barrel and show me the 50 states, and banned <laughs> my account. So, <laughs> wow, <laughs> what dicks. <laughs> so, anyway... <laughs> Anyway, so they banned my so alien turd account. Kind of so what? I'm thinking like I'm like, all right, I gotta keep the alien thing. I was like, maybe I'll drift away from the turd since you know I'm not ten years old anymore. I was like, you know, I I'll keep the alien. So I started thinking of different combinations I could do with alien. I was like, you know what? I'll just make it generic. I'll just make it X Alien Seven. So I just did that because you know X is wow so generic. Um, and seven was my favorite number at the time. So X Alien Seven. So that was that name. Yeah, and then I got registered as a sex offender, so I changed my name to Zexus. Zexus, you know. It's weird because Zexus sounds like a sex predator. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> go hang out with Zexus tonight. And you brought that upon yourself, too. That's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> that's, that's how you want yourself to be known is sexual predator. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty You're much. You're building a yeah. great career, bud. So. Thanks, Alex. How I came to be Empire. known as Rock. How I came to be known as Rockersy Zoom. This is the most boring story ever. So I was playing some stupid online game and I needed a random name. So I was just like, give me a random name. And I clicked it three times. <laughs> and then I got Rockersy Zoom. I'm not even kidding you. So you didn't even come and up I with I your just, own name. I didn't. Some <laughs> random game online just came up with the name and I was like, I like Now it. hang on, and hang on, real quick. It. Did you fuck up typing in the name and add the extra Z? <laughs> That's always annoyed me. 
<laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> you little ass. <laughs> I did. That's uh, why that was I call I... you Rocker Z Zoom. I don't call when you I first, Rocker um, Zoom. When I first and uh, made like uh, got the channel the Rocker Z Zoom the old the old <laughs> one. Um, I I accidentally like I stayed up the night before late and I accidentally hit Z twice and then. See. Well, I imagine no. that's how Alex's mom named him. She, like, just fucked up, and she was like, <laughs> Alex, and they were like, can you type that in? And she's, like, freshly given birth, so she's, like, on the verge of passing out, and she's like, A-L-A-X-X, and then she passed out. It was gone. <laughs> what'd, what'd she say? I don't know, but I think she put two a- two X's. Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> Actually, I think down. I've already said this once on a previous podcast, but by legal... Well, like, on my legal birth certificate, I only have one X. Oh. What? I thought you were going to tell us, like, your name was Joseph or something like no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. That Wait, why did you add the X? Like, like, guys, I have an important no, announcement th- do, to make. Do I look like a John fucking Smith. Joseph? I mean, be honest. Look at me. Do John I look like Cena? a damn Joseph? Yes. No, you'd be a good Jack, though. I really thought your name was Jack when I met you. A lot you. of people do, too. But, like, no, my, like, all, like, my name was I always you supposed as an to Anderson. have two Xs. But the doctor was like, eh, you know what, fuck it, we'll just give him one X. And then for, like, three months, my mom was, like, trying to battle these fucking assholes because they messed up my name. It was supposed to have two Xs. That second X is really important. But, no, there's only one X. But on my legal birth certificate, it's A-L-A-X. Huh. So I still have a unique name, it's just not two Xs. Hey, guys. What's the worst part? Hey, I'm going to say a joke. Don't answer it with, don't try to answer the joke. Because okay. then it won't be as funny. <clears throat> What's the worst part about being named Rocker Z Zoom? I really wish I knew. Having to tell your parents that you're gay. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, speaking of so which, much. Robbie, do you have anything to say about uh, to dispute that you may be gay? Is there anything that has recently oh, yeah, happened anything. that you could prove that you aren't? I Anything to prove it's the future yet? Have... My girlfriend. And he also st- <laughs> Anyway. So Calm Nathan, uh, what, what's your Cut name? that out. <laughs> Cut that out. Wait, yeah, Robbie. So how does it feel when any fucker say where I work? Stop. No. Wait, Robbie, no, you did? No, that's not staying in. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, Daniel She's doesn't, doesn't know, does I he? I had no approval. How no. Is- Chris, no. I hate you. No, you're, you're cutting all of this out. Hey, is this true? Yes, but <laughs> you're cutting I'll this censor out. it. I'll censor it. Fuck Shut me. the fuck up, <laughs> Robbie. You little cunt. Do you want me to reveal Team A, like the origin of Team A? Okay, no more. Stop. <laughs> We're cutting all of this. Actually, out. what's funny thing. is I don't even remember what her original name was. Let's go back into the podcast now. Wait, nope. Just remembered it. I agree. So Nathan, why is your name Bad Assassin? Oh. Uh. Well. The name of Bad Assassin, it doesn't really have that much of a story. I just came up with it one day. However, the name that I had before that, that's kind of a longer story. Well, go ahead. Tell so, it, man. Oh, yeah, it, Divine Games. 48. Right? No, that was... And Divine Games, I tried for a bit, and it just didn't work out. But this was before. Oh, okay. This was when I first joined Xbox. Hmm. It was the most cringe-worthy gamer tag ever. Don't tell me it's 420 plays it. X, 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 X. But no, like, in all seriousness, like, yeah. why did you choose Bad Assassin? Do you just think, like, on, you I wanna, played stealth that, games? I, I want to yeah, hear the cringe version. Yeah, OG gamer tag. Well, I planned on changing my gamer tag, and I actually just thought about joining a clan. That lasted about a month. But before that, it was Major Killer Blade. <laughs> Damn, that's hard. It was spelled weird because I could only fit 15 characters. Nathan, this is why I love you. Major Killer Blade. Like, it's not too bad. Well, you hand a retard a blender and he comes up with a name like that. <laughs> well, the, the major part was because Chris, back when you did like a Nerf War tournament where people submitted you videos. Oh, shit, yeah. There was one channel that I liked. It was Colonel Django. I actually watched her videos for a while. And I want to name kind of like them, where it's like a uh, military rank. And the Killer Blade. Well, I think it was going to be Major Blade, but that was taken. Uh-huh. And I, for some reason, I thought Killer uh-huh. being added in there would be a good idea. That's what Blades do. Alright, well, 
Wait, wait, wait I want to hear names? Bad Assassin. Why was your name Bad Assassin then? Uh, I just... He just said he ran, came, came, up came up with it. Yeah, he just came up oh. with it. No all reason right, to be so, it. Not at all. We have well, all come up... We have all shown why I've come up with it. How we Except my name. Names. And now, Chris, go ahead and tell your story. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> nice segue Dang, there, bro. Um... Well, uh, uh, contrary to popular belief, it's not because I now live in California that it's CA, even though that's what people think. Uh, pretty much, when I was first making my YouTube channel, I didn't know what to name it. I was thinking some retarded, like Fireball or some shit. Uh, maybe, like, I was going to use Valinor. And my dad, Nathan. he typed in the name for me. He was like, no, no, I got this. And I don't even, I don't even remember if I was sitting there watching him do it. But, like, he, he just did it without me even, like, knowing. He just typed in CA Cox 97 And then I was like... And then I found out, I was like, wait, why'd you name me that? And he was like, because the CAC are your initials, Cox is your last name, and 97 is the year you were born. And I was like, that's fucking stupid. Damn it, I want to change it. And I never changed it. I actually love it now. There you go. Or, I mean, I, I copied off of Camden. I'm sorry. That, that's your original story. <laughs> yeah. Because <clears throat> CM Praiser 99 is so classic. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck, did Nathan cut out? Yeah, Nathan's gone. Nathan. I noticed his stories are always embarrassing. How different can that be, though? Why are his stories so embarrassing? Because he's Nathan. <laughs> That's why he's the silent angel that we all know him as today. He is. He really is. He's my rock. He's a, he's a, he's a watchful protector. A bad assassin. All right. Hey, what did, what did Cinderella say when she got to the ball? What? <sighs> oh Shut God. the fuck up. be balls. Up. Shut the so, fuck okay. up. That's such a terrible <laughs> joke. I was on... I've been trying to find the Hunger Games 4 map, and I was building a thumbnail, and I happened to come across the Hunger Games 3 map, and it brought back so many so many memories <laughs> flying around that map and all the work that went into making that. Placing every guy. I remember all I the fucking we, aneurysms I, I had during each and every Hunger <laughs> Game. <laughs> I don't care... Who you are, what you think. We didn't use any online source to put all that snow down and all those trees. Every every one of us, including a lot of fans, came yep. in and added snow, added a bunch of wintry type stuff. Added Some more ice. than others. Camden maybe yeah. placed yeah, two. Yeah, the thing is, I could have put that in a computer program and added all that snow in the whole time. And I just didn't know it yet. Yeah, and then <laughs> and then we and then after we uh, we were done with Hunger Games three, he came to find out. We wanted to do Hunger Games 4 with a bunch of lava and stuff, and we were going to cry if we had to do all that by ourselves. And game To be fair, we stuff, did a shitload of it. Thing. Yeah, we did. Yeah, We, we did. did a shitload of it manually. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and then uh, Daniel decided to go online and find out how to do it. I still don't know how you did it, but you did it, and now it's ready to my knowledge. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alerts, or not, not even spoilers, but like teasers, in case any of you haven't noticed. Well, yeah, it wasn't. It was in the Hunger Games rap, right, Daniel? The Eye of Sauron appeared in it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it did. It did. Oh yeah. Yeah, I that's how long that. ago we were working on it. <laughs> yep. Holy shit, Spencer, you're still here. Oh my god. Yeah, I've been here this entire time. <laughs> I completely time. forgot you were here. <laughs> he was smoking the magic mushrooms. No, I was silent because I keep getting interrupted every fucking three fucking seconds. <laughs> Alright, that's so anyways. Good. Anyway. <laughs> Why do you wait? Where did that magic mushroom shit come from? <laughs> Uh, remember, um, oh, it's a long story, but it's in Minecraft. All right, goodbye. Good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you said that so assholely. Like, oh, it's a long story. Oh, uh, let, let's tell a story like of how name. we each got our items. Oh, I, I, I honestly, it's actually it's I'll actually a really really interesting story, but it's a block in Minecraft I first, that I mine's use. Mine's the really simple one. Mine's the really simple one. What? It was. It's literally we were we were all flying around, and Chris was like. Robbie, you need a, you need your favorite item, and I was just like, uh, and I, I think I ended up saying like lapis and slime at some point, but that was already taken. So I was like, let me think <laughs> of your favorite ha, ha, item's already nugget. taken. Let me, <laughs> let me think of the one thing that I know no one would choose: dead shrubs. Yeah, this butthole just pulls dead shrubs I'm, out of nowhere. Now I'm in love with dead shrubs. Dead Robbie, shrubs. literally everything you, in your you life chose, was just, ah, fuck it, dead. this. Rock or Z Zoom, I don't know, this. Dead shrub, sure, let's go with that. You chose dead bush because you liked it. Mm. Mm. Hey, he I doesn't gotta have censor to so much anymore now that he Oh my god, guys, really? <laughs> Camden, you should speak, you <laughs> Not me, I chickened out. No, I haven't. Yeah, you did. Fucker, shut the fuck up. So my pumpkin...
<laughs> oh yeah, why do you like pumpkins? Because it's orange? Well, uh, I just remember um, when I first started Minecraft and I like traveled around, I was like, whoa, there's these orange things. What are these? I was like, wow, I can put them on my head. And then so I put them on my dick too. <laughs> what? Pumpkin flesh light. That's why I love them so much. Slimes just look like alienish things. So, it's better. Know. It's better than the. Dang. You better hope she's not watching this. Damn. You're gonna be a great no. husband to a wife one day, Camden. Like honestly, I feel like the next 20 mi minutes should just be a long bleep that goes on. For yeah, for real. Minutes. What's the difference between a girl and a washing machine? So, Alex, why do you like lapis? When I dump a load in the washing machine, it doesn't follow me around. Christ alive, Camden. He has like, he has a Christ. list on his phone and he like memorizes it. Guys, we were already thirty two minutes into this episode. We haven't even discussed that this is my last episode. Oh yeah. Or right, wait, well, real quick, let's finish the item saying Alex Lapis. All right. So I remember whenever you guys were asking like, oh, do you need to pick an object? I'm like, I just I just want to play the game, guys. I don't want an object. And you're like, no, pick something and attach yourself to it. I'm like, okay, fuck. So I was like skimming through everything, and at the time, like. Even though, like, my favorite colors are always going to be red and black, there's just something about the color blue was just like, oh, my God, it made my stomach feel like a belly dancer. And like, like Cortana's bloobs. Oh, my God, don't even get me started on Cortana. Mm. Anyway, so as I was, like, looking through the blocks and everything, because everybody else had, like, a specific item, I wanted something generic, but I wanted something that was different. So I was just skimming through stuff. I was like, I don't want diamond. That shit's stereotypical uh, gold stereotypical and and then i got to lapis i'm like huh you need unique little fucker who are you what are you what purpose do you have and as i like looked at it i noticed like like the lapis lazuti block has like patterns and swirls and i'm like this is fucking beautiful Looks you're like a fucking smoothie. beautiful you simplistic beautiful bitch you were gonna be mine and that is how Camden met his girlfriend. Oh! oh. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Oh. Would tell again. Mm. But uh, but in response to those jokes that Camden said, I actually found one just now that says, what is the difference between acne and a Catholic priest? Oh, my God. Oh, acne doesn't come on a boy's face until he's 13. Son of a bitch! <laughs> yep. <my> God! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> We're done! He, he knows all of them. He has them memorized. <laughs> yeah, that is it. I don't know what's funnier, the joke or the fact that Camden knew it. <laughs> right away, too. No hesitation. He's like, he's like, Spencer, Spencer, that's a grade one joke. It's like the episode of Spongebob where he gets the magic kit and he's trying to like be like a class four wizard. It's like that with jokes. He's like, Camden just sitting there back. He's like, it's like Spencer, Spencer, that's a class one joke. I learned that yeah. one in kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> what else <laughs> doing my business? Yeah, and running around with my dick flopping about. I've got a suitcase and everything. But cookies. I don't know why cookies are, like, my thing. I've always <laughs> liked cookies. Like, when I was a kid, I would go to, like, we would go to McDonald's, and I always get three chocolate chip cookies there. But uh, somehow the cookies ended up just being a thing on my channel. I was looking through my videos right now trying to find, like, the first video where cookies were, like, I bet it was uh, in one featured. of the weekly updates when you were saying, like, uh, Halo Reach, I get that. Halo Reach and Black Ops 2 are, or, or Black Ops are very different. It's like comparing one or another is comparing a piece of shit to like, a, I don't know, a cookie or something good. And then you just started from there. How, wh how do you know this? I don't he even studied, know what right? you just he studied. said. Spencer what made your fanboy. Like, Camden knows bad jokes and Spencer just remembers everything. Hey, they're not bad. I've they're got funny. the memory of an elephant or the memory of he a Spencer. Does. Wait, where did I do weekly updates? Spencer's did I do- wait, is that Spencer's video deleted? Sad. Probably. You remember a video that doesn't even exist anymore! I need to- you need to be my secretary, Spencer, seriously. You remember so much. I- I actually was tested for photographic memory. Like, like I'm gonna ago. walk up to, like, someone, and they'll be like, Hey, remember I talked to you, like, a year ago? And I'll be like, yeah, uh, and then I just turn to you and you're like, Kate. And I'm like, hey, Kate, yeah, ni nice to see you again. <laughs> like, that's how it'll be. Oh, we could do a video of that. It'll be like, Kate, hey, you idiot. Like, no one even notices you're there. You're just following me around everywhere. <laughs> you just pop in every time, like, shit, I don't yeah, remember this. Yeah, Spencer. Um, who is that guy? Oh, he's just my memory person. So, Chris, you almost met J.J. Abrams? Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, so. <laughs> what? All right, so. um, Okay, I was seeing my aunt and cousin again. Uh, I hadn't seen my cousin in probably eight years. For, for Lost. 
Shut up, it's my story. So anyway, we were sitting at this very hipsterish place. Uh, <clears throat> and we were eating food and shit. And uh, all of a sudden, this guy came walking in. My dad just, like, bumped away. He was like, my dad was in the middle of saying something. Like, he was like, yeah, yeah. And then um, <clears throat> we were going to the store. And uh, by Chris, that's J.J. Abrams, I think. Anyway, he just, like, kept going. I was like, shit, what? And I just looked. And I saw him. I was like, fucking A. That's J.J. Abrams. That is, that's J.J. Abrams. There's no disputing it. And he, like, sat down at the <clears throat> bar or whatever. And I just kept sitting there. I was like, I, I think that's J.J. Abrams. I gotta, I gotta go say hi. And my dad was like, I'll go say hi. And I was like, I'm too nervous. And then I was like, and then my dad was like, you can go up to the bathroom. And I was like, I don't think I have to go. And he's like, well, you can pretend. And I was like, you know, never mind. I have to go. So I got up. <clears throat> then I started walking over. <clears throat> and like, I noticed he was talking to this one blonde woman who was sitting next to him, like very intently. So I was like, okay, they're probably in a relationship, something like that. And I saw, him, I was like, that's got to be him. So I sat down, took my piss, walked out. And then I, I saw it and I was like, all right. So then I looked at my phone, JJ Abrams' wife. The woman looks exactly like her. I was like, this got to be JJ Abrams. And it, so then we ended up finishing the, uh, the lunch and then we left and we were sitting in the car in the parking lot and I was sitting there. I was like, I contemplated everything. Just like, okay, if this is JJ Abrams, like, what do I say to him? Like I walk in there, you know, wh what do I do? Like, what happens if I don't see him? Like, do I ask for like, wh and I just contemplated everything. And my dad was like, you know, nut up or shut up. Just go in or not. Come on. And I was like, okay, all right, I'm going for it. So I like, I, I built up the courage. I was super nervous. My heart was thumping. Don't know why. That's just, you know, how it is. And I walked in and I, I saw the guy and the woman like greeted me. And I was like, no, no, I just want to say hi to this one gentleman. So I walked in and I walked up to him. And I was like, uh, excuse me. And he like turned and looked at me. I was like, are, are you JJ Abrams? And he just burst out laughing. And I was like, cause you look exactly like him. And I was like trying to pull it off. And he was like, ah, I get that all the time. Oh my God. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God. And I like shook his hand. I was like, oh my God. It's so nice to meet you and stuff. And he was like, no, I'm not JJ Abrams. I get that all the time though. I've actually met the real one. Uh, he's like this tall. And then he stood up. He was taller than me and I'm like five foot 11. So uh, that's when I realized he wasn't JJ Abrams. I was like, oh, okay. All right. And I got really embarrassed and left. <laughs> well then. Probably could have been brother. casted in Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, I could have been. I could have been in Star Wars. Although, although Ryan Johnson's doing the next one, so I bet you wouldn't have had any fucking luck. But oh well. Well, J.J. Abrams is powerful now. He remade should Star we, uh, Trek and Star Wars. He has power. That's, that's true. He's he's the star hero. He's he the could star cast Lord. you in a Harry Potter reboot. God. That's the only thing JJ, there's left to remake. J.J. So, Abrams is the real Star Lord. Yeah. So okay, Hunger Games three, right? I want to talk about some all the shit that we've had to do for past videos that the audience doesn't know. Like, behind the scenes type shit that when they watch the video again, their whole world will be blown open. Oh, oh could I could I tell them, uh... <laughs> we had to sleep with a lot of people. Could I tell them about the some of the things that happened in Deep Sheep Season 1? Go ahead. Go. So, <laughs> Deep Sheep Season 1... Completely off topic. Man, motherfucker, that shit was, like... <laughs> really 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 like if you look at those videos we probably seem like happy individuals yeah we wore a mask all right like yeah um like deep chief season one nearly killed me i remember the only part that was actually <coughs> fun was just building the houses and like we got to i'm not add, even, like, that, was my, that was one of my most hated it. parts like, Alex, that's because you took 10 years to make yours. No, it wasn't because of the house. It was the underground lair that I fucking built. And also, Alex, you and Robbie got kicked out of Deep Sheep by the end of season one. Oh, yeah? We, yeah. we should tell that story. Yeah, so, so so believe it or not, actually, Robbie and Alex, you know... God bless their hearts. Yeah, <laughs> this motherfucker... You know, Robbie, we love you to pieces, but... But we, we fucking kicked the shit out of you. We kicked you, back you out of like, dude, you were done. We were so done after. They after... hated me so much. I hated me so much. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Robbie. Everyone hated him. His likes just screw up. He named yeah. his name Rocker ZZ Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> his real name is Pelasasa. God, your life, man. <laughs> I, it there reminds me of it reminds me of the thing it's that like Alex dead said. Dead shrubs because Ella's other items were taken. It reminds His me of the name thing. Is just a pail of salsa. It reminds me of the thing that. <laughs> it's remi it reminds me of the thing that Alex said not too long ago when he's like, "I've been in a bad mood since like 2008." <laughs> I'm not gonna fuck. That was it. Was that the thing you were trying to say in the beginning? No, okay, like anyways, seriously. Okay, if anyway, anybody had a, any yes, sort of hatred for Robbie in season one, I get the fucking platinum medal here because Robbie. God, I love you right now. You're awesome, but back then, fucking damn, you were my personal cancer. <laughs> well, Alex, you're not off the hook too. You didn't even show up for the Skin Town Rumble finale. I know he wasn't know. even in the finale. 
Some people may have noticed, but we had a, per, a friend on our Xbox Live, Boxer Marigold. Shout he out. was basically a body actor for Alex the entire time. And then afterwards, I recorded Alex saying a bunch of random shit that he would probably say in the episode. And I had to edit him in every now and then to remind the audience that Alex was in the video. Yeah, Deep Sheep Season like, 1, everybody! We tried for like three weeks to get everyone online, and it just wouldn't happen. Like, one week, oh, Robbie runs out of man. gold. The next week, Alex couldn't make it. Son of a bitch. The next and week, we, we all got mad Alex. at each other, so we just didn't film it. And we got we got what by Alex? Goodbye, Alex. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, so we video the, the episode going. Escape the Horde. The room, I think it was me who almost walked into it. And Chris mm -hmm. was like, his freaking out. He's like, no, 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 don't go in there. Don't go in there and everything. Yeah, there's a door so, the, uh, under Halloween Hill. Yeah, so there's a door. A you know, name, you know go back, watch watch Escape the Horror, and you'll see what we're talking about. No, we, yeah, we we'll wait. Show we'll, it, no, we show it at the end of Skintown Rumble. Wait, that's we did? The, that's the last part. Oh, uh, it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, the after credits. Yeah, because remember we back then. We were doing then, that we, before I Marvel. forgot that. Yeah, remember back then we planned a season two? Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, we did. yeah 2000 Never. <laughs> yeah, shout out to that year. 2000 Never, gonna be a great year. Anyway, so, so anyway. We're gonna um, get so much done that year. So basically, behind that door is the end portal. And after we made the decision to kick Robbie and Alex out, we gave Robbie another chance, but we didn't give Alex one. Pro it was probably because his Alex. hair. It was probably just because his hair. Sorry, Alex. We love you, but. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but no, we kicked yeah, it's the hair, man. But it's yeah, that huge I, tattoo. Yeah. Yeah, you're taller than us. It's not allowed. Spencer, yeah. you're on your way out too. <laughs> Fuck and me. You work <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck off. Stop it. I, I'm done. I gotta censor so much. Anyway, anyway, anyway. One so, foot closer to the ceiling, one foot out the door. So anyway, oh Alex Alex was going bye bye, so we decided to film a goodbye Alex video. So so I wanna elaborate into what that video was that never got uploaded. So we I'll, were I'll do it, like, I'll do it, I'll do it. Good luck. Okay, go ahead, Chris. Thank you. Okay, so pretty much we were doing it as if that was at the time when Robbie first got his capture card. So we were pretending to like test it like, hey, how's your capture card working and all that and stuff like that. And uh, Alex were to randomly wander into the end or uh, the end portal like he would just end up wandering through and falling in and we would be like wait alex entered the end what and then we walked over and i'm like yeah that's what's behind the door and then we're all freaking out like oh no alex is in the end we got to get him out of there we got to help him so we all go around build up armor and shit you know become a team and then we go into the end By the way, we this find is all like a staged thing this yeah yeah but it was supposed to be as if it was yeah but it was, way, it was supposed than to be us cool. acting happy it was supposed to be cool and so then when we were there it's like, oh shit, uh, you know, uh, Dante's here. So we would like help Dante escape or whatever. And uh, shout out to Chris for killing Dante. Shout out to me for killing Porkers. Fuck you. And then like our like, and then emotions would heighten and stuff. Like Camden attacks Daniel and stuff because he's like, you killed Porkers and stuff. You know, I'm sick of you. And Alex would be pissed at me because I killed Dante and stuff. And then eventually we all like calm down and shit. I think it was Nathan who like broke it and was like, everyone calm down. We need to work together. Everyone and it was really down. cool and shit. It was like emotional. And then we like fought the Ender Dragon together, and <clears throat> he was almost defeated. We just needed someone to climb up to the top and like hit a certain crystal, and then it would be over. But they would die in the process. And uh, we were like, "Who should go up there?" And Alex decides he was the one to go up there. And then he like gives an epic speech to each of us, you know, saying goodbye. And then we all watch as he climbs up to the top of the tower, hits the crystal, and like, what did you say, Alex, when you died? You said something really cool. God, it's been so long that I forgot, but it was pretty much. Thanking like all of you guys from bringing me like from who I was to to the guy that I am now Because each one of you this is gonna get a little serious for a second You guys have shaped me into the guy that I am today because back then in fucking high school. I wasn't anybody I was just an act like I was an asshat. I'm not gonna lie And then once I started to get to know you guys I'll kind of learn how to like actually socialize through you know like online and then i was able to develop that to where i could like socialize physically with other people because you guys helped me develop my sense of humor because i was just like i was bland i was i was more bland than fucking like i don't want to say you know eh, fuck. michael I was just jackson a, skin yeah pretty much is that another joke on your phone <laughs> no it's but no I, I, I didn't have any you know like you guys just helped me you know come out of my shell so I pretty much thank you guys for like me becoming who I am and then I just hit the crystal and then I just I like as I ex like as the crystal explode my character's body would just fall off the tower and it would just disappear then you guys would leave the end and then after you guys get out of the end you all I think spawn back in uh the world. at the player Skin houses and yeah. 
then it just shows me without my suit because at that time I was the Enderman in the suit whenever I die I would just be the Enderman Dante would be standing right next to me and Porkers would be standing next to me and well, no, no, no. Por- Porkers no, was back Porkers in the real world. Back. Oh, he got back yeah. into the real world? Oh, shit, I thought he died. Yeah, we, anyway. we brought him back. That was and then it just got back. to the point to where, like, I was accepted by my people. I was surrounded by everybody. Uh, Enderman would just gather around and be like, you know what? Deep Sheep may have been my family in, like, in life, but in death I can finally be with the people that I truly love. It's some, some sappy shit like that. Mm-hmm. And you stayed in the end with the Enderman and Dante, and then we put a grave and uh, we put the Ender Dragon egg on top of it. Yeah, and I remember and, uh, I was, was like, the one. I was the one that put the egg on up. it, and then I said like the most fucking corny ass thing. I can't remember what I said. I was like, with with our, like you know, this is when I was like fourteen. I was like, when with uh, with your with our with with one your year with ago. your with your friendship, we can rebuild. <laughs> Holy crap! Stuttered much. <laughs> with, 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 with your with my mom with my mom said. No, that's <laughs> literally <laughs> what happened. Like I I stuttered so damn much. The water boy. Now I do have to. I do have to cut out pretty soon. So I do want to talk to uh, Daniel about this real quick. You remember that video that we filmed uh, where we played Saints Row the Third and how you Saints kept the fucking third. shooting RPGs at me? Yep. Yep. We had cheats on. Christ alive! You would not let up for four Literally, fucking seconds. Alex tries to give the intro to the video. He's like, hey, what's up, guys? It's Crazy Jack 20. And as he's talking, I just blow the crap out of him with this rocket launcher. Like, he couldn't even give an intro. He just started, he just went off at me as soon as the video starts, pretty much. At this because... point, I was like, fuck it. Let's just film the damn thing. So it also got to the point, I think my favorite part of the video from where I didn't have cheats enabled, but he did. He couldn't fucking die, but he could kill me. There was a scene to where I'm just like barrel rolling. And I just get like, get the fuck up and run. And I'm just like leaping forward. And I turn the camera behind me. And <laughs> fucking Daniel in this big ass bus is like driving right at me. And I can't remember right off bat. But do you like hit me and I just start flying? Or do you just swing right past me? The bus flips and it acts like a moment out of that movie speed. To where it's just tumbling and exploding, and you just pop out and you just start shooting fucking RPGs at me. Again. I can't remember. I just remember going crazy in that video. Jack. Anyway, yeah. I gotta hop off here. I will talk to you guys later. Bye, Alex. Yeah. Right. Thanks Bye, for listening, Alex. guys. Bye. You guys are awesome. Daniel, don't touch yourself too much in the adult world. Thanks for the advice. He's got a girl for that, so. Yeah, so does Robbie, but he already. <laughs> so. Back to the bleeping. <laughs> Bye, guys. I don't have to bleep that. So, with Hunger Games 3, do we want to reveal the secret of Hunger Games 3? Yes. Go for it. What originally happened? What's the secret? So, Robbie, Robbie, do you remember what happened in the original oh. Hunger Games 3? Oh. Uh, yeah. We, 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 we technically did it twice. Yeah, yeah. Robbie, would you like to elaborate on that shit? So, basically, uh, Hunger Games 3 was, I would say, a few months off of when I first got Maroxia. And I didn't have my own computer yet, so I was filming off of a laptop, and and all that and all that stuff. But I needed the CD to put the Roxio filming program onto the laptop, and then um, it just so happens that I end up forgetting to get the CD from my aunt, and I left it at her house, and she's like miles and miles away from us. So it was just. It, it was so confusing of how I lost it. And then, um... Oh, I forgot. Oh, wait. We did the first bit, and I, I think I recorded most of the first bit, and then... I um, remember your footage was such hell to get. Yeah, yeah now that I'm thinking about something, it. Because I did record some of it. Some of the first part was my mm-hmm. actual footage. But then there's um, another while after that, when Daniel leads me to get the iron from the furnace... That is Holy all crap. completely um, artifact. Fake. Fake. Is, Wasn't isn't that I recorded it and just yeah, put you, your name you over it? Yeah, you recorded it. Mm-hmm. Holy you shit, I forgot all, about that. All, all by yourself. And then everything else um, just fell in place. Like, uh, when I died, my my uh, my footage wasn't needed. Um, but whenever it was needed, Chris went in and did it himself. Because whenever uh, whatever I didn't have on the footage that I sent him, it just... It, he just did it himself, like a like a fucking boss. 
I completely forgot about but that. But I don't I do not remember why we had to do two days. We had to do two days because sucked. when I dropped the into the lava sucked. hole and then I was getting my way out, I was building my way across the lava and I accidentally placed a sand block and I fell into the lava and I died. I was actually the original first person to die in Hunger Games 3. Oh, yeah. And that's like the shittiest way to possibly die is to just fall in lava at the bottom of the earth after dropping down that lava hole in the first place and living. Uh -huh. And I was furious. I was like, God damn it, you know, that's Hunger Games. I just got to suck it up. And who was the next to die? I don't even remember. Well, Chris, I actually was, remember, I, in, I, I remember in particular what happened was... Of course you, you do. You died, and I just remember you hearing. Uh, you, I heard you, and it said, uh, "Sea Cox ninety seven has fallen or tried to swim in lava or whatever the fuck." And and mm. I just remember like a second later, you were like, "I let me see if my stuff is still there." And then I hear you go, "Nope." And then I hear, "God damn it!" <laughs> like really? Oh my god, hot. I remember that. Yes. Yeah, so then, yeah. then there was this awkward atmosphere after after. I mean, like after the year it took to make the fucking map. To put all the snow, all the work, and then I die like that. First. I die first, and I die like that. I was done. Yeah, I Chris, the Chris, there was no way Chris would I, have accepted that. I the, believe... the next person that died was Sean. I killed him. Yeah, it was, it was Sean. very unfair. It was Sean, uh -huh. I, he he and then, was defenseless, and I killed him. Yeah, and then, like, slowly people ended up dying, and the last two I were Daniel and Campbell. people died from the shittiest ways. Yeah, Daniel, or who wants to explain, or Daniel, you explain Holy. what happened oh at the God, end. Oh my God, I remember, I remember vividly It was now. Daniel and me, wasn't it? So it comes yep. out to be Camden and myself left at the end, and um, the sponsors more or less led us together. They basically told us where each other were at, and we just, we met up at this, like, this little lava place to oh, do the Daniel final death match. obviously had more armor and everything. I show yeah, up to Camden. Daniel. Camden's running around. I don't know what kind of armor he had, but he he, he had nothing. I don't know if Probably I had leather. Camden had, I don't even think he had leather. And he had, like, no sword. So I'm literally there. I show up with, like, rock and iron diamond gear. I show up, Camden's got nothing. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So I'm just like, all right, whatever. I'll make this a fair fight. So... I gave Camden armor and weapons, diamond and iron, and we split it up so it was equal fight. So I was going to let Camden win the fight for entertainment purposes since I already won the first Hunger Games. So we're going at it. We're fighting for a little bit. Camden starts taking the upper hand. Well, Chris decides to go, Daniel, are you really going to let Camden win after... Well, I was making all the Nouncy and stuff. Yeah. I was trying to, like, build it up. He's, you like, know? he's like, Daniel, are you really going to let Camden win after an Ultimate Minecraft champion where he beat you? And then after, um, what was Game the other of Thrones. one? Game, Game of, of Thrones, Thrones, where he beat you. And after that, I'm just like, no, I can't let Camden win now. And by the way, both of those were staged. But oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I beat Camden in both of those. But we I, put, I would, I, when, uh, when Daniel had to. So, so anyway. After... I'm trying, to, yeah, wait, real quick. In Game of Thrones, I'm trying to remember who it was. But I remember I removed all the diamonds for one of us. So uh, we would get the, the red stuff. I forget. Legit, I forget was, who it was. The one that I know was you legit put was me. No, I, I actually died. Legit. I know you did that to me because you told me afterwards that you took all the diamonds out, so I had no option yep. but to get redstone. And so, the first time one of us died, I removed the redstone so that way we wouldn't. One of us wouldn't be out right away. However, I died once, and the one time I hit the machine, there was redstone and diamond in there, and I got the redstone anyway. I did okay, too. No, no, no. So that's I anyway. Explain, back no, no, I back to Hunger Games Game three. Thrones. Back to Hunger Games three. Because okay, as, as soon as we finish that. So anyway, okay. both of those were staged, and Camden won in both of those. So after Chris made the point of, are you really going to let Camden beat you after those two things? And obviously, we, me and him both understood what he was implying. I, I had to take the victory. So, so I went, I killed Camden, I won Hunger Games 3, but we all agreed that the video sucked, like, majorly sucked, so we agreed to refilm it. Yup. And so we, I reset the world. I tried to fix everything that had happened to it uh, right from the moment I fell down into the, uh, the lava hole and I lived. And like pretty much the moment before I died. That's why, that's where we tried to set up. And then it was a week later, we just continued from there. And then the rest of that was exactly how the actual game happened. All right, I want to explain Game of Thrones. Because <clears throat> it was like obvious bullshit. <laughs> pretty much... I've been doing pretty solid the whole game, and then so I've been like just slowly creeping up, getting high up in the world, and then 
Daniel eventually had nothing. And then so after Spencer and Chris had, had died and it was just me and Daniel, I was like, okay. And I'm pretty sure we fought like f- like three or four different times. where I think I had, cut out one of them because it was too much. Yeah, where you had nothing and I had something. And I had everything. And I was just like, okay, I'm just going to end it because I just, I just want this to end. And we fought. I killed you. You would go up, get a diamond. I was like, oh, fuck, okay, I'll just do it again. <laughs> I'd kill you. You'd go up, get a diamond. I was like, what the hell? And we did that like four times, and you got a diamond. And then finally I was like, okay, I'll back off for a little bit so then maybe we could have a more epic ending. And then so I let you get some stuff. And then so it was an even fight. And then so you you won. And then so I – or no, that was that was the one where we killed each other. And then so I said, okay, now we both have to hit the button. And then I went first, and I got a fucking redstone right away, first try. He got four diamonds in a row, and then I went up and got a redstone right away. And I got mad as shit. That's the day where I threw my um, headset down. No! And and I broke I broke off the left ear of the headset, that, that and it happened? exploded somewhere. And I couldn't find it for like two years. That happened. That happened, Camden. But I think instead and then, of the and then Dan- and then Daniel got a diamond, and then so I was like, "Fuck!" Yeah, I, I, I think really no. Me. I think what happened was instead of you smashing it at the redstone, because you did smash your headset. I do remember yeah. that. I but, remember seeing the but, footage. But because <laughs> <laughs> he had to set up his camera, so I watched him do it. <laughs> <laughs> but but Camden, I think the way it actually happened was, uh, you smash your headset. When you guys were down there in the fighting uh, arena, and Daniel killed you somehow, and did you just run? But I just hear on the microphone, boom, <laughs> on the ground, and you're smashed. And then you come back like a minute later, like not gonna lie, I think my headset just broke. And then, and then I see, <laughs> and, and I then, don't know and where then the I piece see, is. And then I see on the left hand corner it says, "X Alien Seven has burned to death." And Daniel apparently broke the glass because there was fire in the arena. He went and he oh, yeah, he threw crap. himself That's in the fire, and then he and then he said, "Camden, we're going yeah. again." I died. Yep. Yeah, I remember uh, that. Yeah. That's what it was. I yeah, remember yeah, that. yeah. Yeah. It was That's funny while how. I was looking at Camden's footage though, because I was looking for the moment when he threw it. It looked like you threw it towards your TV because a cord was hanging on the screen. But from first glance, it looked like you had cracked the screen. So I thought you literally threw your headset at the TV. I was like, holy shit, Camden. But no, it wasn't that. <laughs> yeah, but either, either, either way, I killed Daniel like four times when he had nothing. And, he, and he, got, he got some bullshit diamonds four times in a row. And then I finally let him get up in the world. And then, uh, so we'd have a fair fight. That and was then mistake I died, number so one. I got, I got really mad. All right, well, guys, I think I'm gonna head off too. Oh, okay. All right. Bye, All right. Spencer. All that right, was bye, unexpected. Spencer. See you, Spencer. See you. And then there were four queers. <laughs> so, Robbie. So, yeah. Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> how are you? I, I, I've got to. How wait? Off how tall are you? A little bit, but. 511. 511? Don't believe you. Screw you. Anyways, I got I got to hop you. off here in a little bit too, but before I go, I want to share share a good memory with my good old alien, my good pal. Oh, buddy, old pal. <laughs> Daniel, man. It, I don't I don't It's come to mind. I can't think of anything from a video, but I do remember the first time that I played with you outside of Hunger Games. And it was um back when I had GameFly and I and I uh hold on. Take your time. It's okay. <laughs> what? I hope Thanks. this is the story I'm thinking of. Oh we knew this would happen. He's being called I'm in the down middle a little of the video. Okay. Close my door. Close my door. Everyone, this is behind the scenes right here. This is what we deal with every video. <laughs> Anyways, um Back from the shoe store. Um game. <laughs> I rented Left 4 Dead 1 from Yes, Game yes, this is the story I was hoping for. And I ended up playing my first ever, and I believe my only ever Left 4 Dead 1 game on the Xbox. Of Dead Air with Chris and Daniel only. And we were okay, having... Should I just go then? You want me to go? Is that what you're saying? Fuck you, because I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, we were having a great time halfway through the game. And then... um. Then Daniel decided, 
decides to pull his Daniel self. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I like to betray in video games. Uh, a little. And then, long story short, Daniel decides to kill me over and over and over, and I'm yelling and crying, and I I get so mad that I leave. And it, it yeah, was... Robbie was going oh. And then the next day, we just hung out like it was nothing. Yeah, I just I just kept murdering him over and over again. That was like the first time me and Robbie ever bonded. All right, well, so talk to you guys bonded later. Bonded over killing each other. Bonded. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Robbie. See ya. And now it is the trio. So we did a late night with us three. Yeah, we did. Uh-huh. It was late night number seven. It was probably the best late night we ever did. It was a really good did. late night. <laughs> what happened t- to it? <laughs> My computer <laughs> crashed, lost all the files just about late night no, seven. Be- before even that, it's gone. I fucked up. Oh, yeah, you fucked up too. Oh, yeah, d- you I- weren't... Ha- I didn't record with headphones, and then so yeah, that made it on my crap. on on everyone's audio. It's supposed to just hear their only their audio, but I didn't have my headphones plugged in, so everyone uh, on my audio it could hear everyone. Yeah, so Camden mm-hmm. screwed up. That's um, also how late night eight was. Oh yeah, I can remember in episode seven we were talking about. Um, Oh crap! I just pissing, remembered pissing and taking you with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Remember, I, t- I went to the bathroom and I called you. Oh yeah. yeah. I was like, someone was in the middle of telling a story, and I'm just like, yeah, like no, I just me. yelled. I was trying to Cameron's, tell a story. Cameron was trying to tell a story. And you like, called me like, on the phone. Cameron tried to tell us the same story for literally the whole episode. Just about, he just kept trying to tell us the story. Me and Chris just kept cutting him off. So we finally, and Chris is like, all right, I'm not going to say anything. Camden, go ahead. I feel bad. You know, I've, I've taken up the whole episode. Go ahead, Camden. So Camden's like, okay. So anyway, I just instantly cut him off. I like, I like yelled. I was like, I was like, I'll be right back. I got to pee. So, <laughs> so I go into the bathroom and you can hear in the episode, all of a sudden Chris's phone starts ringing. So, yep. so Chris answers his phone. He's like, hello. And I'm like, I just held the phone to the toilet as I'm peeing. <laughs> And you just hear the stream just beating down on the water. And it was like, uh, it was Candon or Chris, one of them, they're going like, it sounds like a fire hose going off or whatnot. Like, like yeah, so I peed on on late night. Yeah, so anyway. And then we're talking about like, what was it? It was like Voldemort sounding like uh, Dr. Evil or something like that. I'm getting a phone call right now. You are? Yo, what's up? I'm trying to see. You're trying. I'm trying. Oh, you... I'm trying, Voldemort. I said that. This is what I said. <laughs> Talk about water or something. Waterfall. Waterfall. Oh, 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 we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Um, um. Oh, uh, there we go. That's nice. You can barely hear it. It's there, yeah, though. Oh, oh my gosh. Still going. I'm laughing now. Oh, my oh God. man. We're still going. It's still going. Oh, this kid's train never stops. He's been holding this in the whole oh, episode. Man. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, there we go. Oh, little bit. Oh, Oh my gosh. Uh, Alright, I hung up on him. <laughs> he completely he reenacted the whole thing that I did. Bravo. FaceTime, no. Oh god. Okay, it's FaceTime it's... audio, never mind. Daniel. Spencer. That was oh, fantastic. Never mind. <laughs> oh, you're joining okay, alright. So you want to be on speaker? Yep, putting you okay. on speaker. Spencer's on speaker. Spencer's back oh, from the fuck. dead. My cord's stuck. What's happening? Oh, yeah. What are we... <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he'll go longer than I did. This is more powerful. Spencer, you got, Spencer, you got some competition, buddy. Oh, fuck. That's red. That's <laughs> red. <laughs> I think I went longer. I'm proud. All right, I hung up on him.
I think you remember that when I did it, right? Yeah, you were like struggling. Yeah, I couldn't do it at first, and and you're like, "What are you doing right now? Are you trying to? Are you, are you are you peeing right now?" I'm like, "I'm trying." Yeah, and then you came like, through like, "You're trying. How do you even try?" I'm like, "I I don't know. I just said." Uh, Nothing is funnier than standing and peeing while making people listen. You do it, and you're laughing your ass off. Yeah, but, no, <laughs> try but, peeing no, while you're see, laughing. It's see, really hard. It's, How many times have you done because that? Like, you're maybe occupied. four now. You're occupied because when you laugh, everything starts bouncing all around and whatnot. So <laughs> <laughs> like my tits. <laughs> How do you pick up? How do you pick up a Jewish? No, girl? okay. No. I already know the answer to that one. <laughs> when you start bringing you're race and religion into it, people get pissed. That's how it works. Okay. I think the best memory we can share is is from when we all met each other. I don't even remember when that happened. For the final ten things. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> what are you fucking idiot? No, I thought you meant like we actually met each other like Yeah. So you were in final ten things you should never do in Nerf War, Daniel. And that was something that was unheard of. Like we thought it could not happen. Things. I drove a good three hours to be in the final 10 things. Like that was something we had been trying to do for years was to visit each other. And yep. your parents were completely against it. And it was at that moment where you managed to convince them to visit for this one day. Yep. I just remember the shed. The shed was yeah, the best the shed. <laughs> we just started fucking singing. Yeah. And you're like, Camden, how does it feel to be to finally make it up on the top of the shed? I was like, it feels fucking great. <laughs> Look over there, right there. There's a Daniel. The nerd to be... be fucking homosexuals. <laughs> <laughs> and then the best part was that you came over and beamed a sword at me. It really oh hurt my, my gosh. arm. I was like, I was done. That didn't get put in the video because it got cut out right then. Yeah. yeah, the camera's running out of space. I legit like fell on the ground. Also, when Chris was like, I was "Long laughing. live the king," and pushed pushed Daniel off. <laughs> like I was laughing so yeah, hard at that out. part. You're like Camden, like Chris is standing like all the way over to the side. You're like, like I already know what you're gonna do. You're gonna push me from behind when I go to jump. And Chris is like, "How can I even do that? I'm all the way over here." You're like, "Whatever." <laughs> and he ran and just tried to jump. He just pegs his he sword at your face. <laughs> No, cause he no, he faked it. No, what, no, the what he did when when I was like, I know you're gonna throw it at me. You're like, yeah, come on, I'm all the way over here. How can I throw it at you? And I was like, I was just like, oh, fine, whatever. And then so I went, and then I saw he was gonna do it, and he faked it, and I just started walking to the shed like I'd already given up. And then after after I touched the shed, then he threw it at me. Remember when um. I was filming insult. I was filming that one scene for you guys and you and uh, the final Nerf Arena. Yep. And you guys were doing your training thing and during the tip, spring. The tip of one of your swords just went flying off. Camden. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like whacking each other's swords oh, also no. just went no, flying cause, off. Cause like the minute before we had um or I threw the sword <laughs> on the ground for I don't know why. And it was it like almost broke off. I was like, uh, Chris, it's like this close to coming off. And we're like, whatever, we'll just film it as long as we can. And then in the middle of the scene, you just see this little piece go <laughs> flying off. And we didn't notice it till after we were done. Cause after the scene was finished, I looked at my sword and I was, it was like, just gone. Oh, <laughs> there's only like three fourths of the sword. here. <laughs> the Daniel, you were a good cameraman for that, for that thank little you, bit. Thank you. For the 360 uh, spring training scene. That was nice. Yep. It was nice. It was tight. Yep, that oh, was my yes. uh, directorial debut. That was so tight. <laughs> By the way, like, one of my favorite shots I ever got in any video was when you, Daniel, you're in the field with um, the uh, rifle, oh, the, the big red one. Oh, the 3000. And I, uh, and I, like, <laughs> zoom in on you. That was, like, with the sound effect added, that's, like, one of my most proud shots ever. Wait, we told this story in the seventh one, but no one will hear it. Javier. Oh, Javier. <laughs> Javier. So we were filming in the field next to my house. And technically, that was our neighbor's property. Okay, let's just say it's a good thing I'm never going back to that neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> Camden, you want to elaborate on that? <laughs> yeah, so this dumb Mexican bitch. <laughs> he was, he, so remember Camden, were, race and religion. This dumb... um probably hispanic 
this you, dumb man <laughs> this dumb person of hispanic origin <laughs> maybe spain so we were filming on like the side of chris's house where it's like no one has claimed that no one has claimed that field that is not there's no, his there's no flag there we were we were filming there and then a guy like we were closer to chris's house than we were to this guy's house well let me mind you we were almost done filming mm-hmm. yeah, like we the stuff we needed done. to film like we we almost we only needed a little bit more to film we were at like the scene. top of this hill and it was flat and, and then so the guy came out of his house which is like further away than where we were from chris's house and he was like yeah um i can see you from here so you can't you can't film there we were like what <laughs> Like my house could possibly get into this. The dumb part was that he said, "Okay, just move to the right a little bit, like down the hill." Yeah, so, so we, we did, moved. We didn't yeah. move. Approves of we moved like move, ten feet. We didn't move any further away from his house. We just moved yeah. like horizontally. Exactly. But it was so, dumb because now, it, now we were at a bottom of a hill. So everything that we had filmed before, we couldn't film the last part at that place because then it would have been like, wait, what? Why'd they move? So we had to restart all because he didn't want his dumb, crappy piece of shit, motherfucking bullshit house in the. In the so cabin. anyway, I started. I started yelling. <laughs> uh, when he went back inside, because I wasn't going to yep. cause a fight in the neighborhood. You named him Javier for no so reason. So I named him Javier just because of his his apparent origin. Possibly. And possibly. We are, not, we are not racist. No. Yeah. So I named him Javier, and I, I just started screaming a bunch of uh, racist things. <laughs> <laughs> Typical white man shit. <laughs> So I just started yelling at Javier. I'm just yelling. And then I look over at Chris's other neighbor's house. Yeah, the window's wide open and there's people just at the window just looking out at us. I'm just like, oh, okay, hi. I'm new here. Uh, I'm new here. And then Camden said, it's a good thing you're never coming back here again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's it's like 2 a.m. here, so I think I think it's about time for me to go. I've okay, to, GG I've Camden. To, I've had to add on ten minutes to this like four times. <laughs> yeah, so, no, we okay. had to tell the Javier. Have story. you had to cut your audio in pieces? Um, only like three. I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> get out of here. Go on, get. Okay, that's a great way to end it. <laughs> Love like, Go you. on, get out of here. I want you dead. Love you. You better send me all five of your audio clips uh, soon. Well, it's it's all in one like iMovie project. Ah, oh, well then that makes it easy. Fuck you. It doesn't. All right. Well, now I wish I was dead. So I'm <laughs> you can add on. to Alex's textbook of suicide yeah. notes. <laughs> yeah, I think I might do that. We'll just share. Yeah. Oh, did, did you guys, Daniel, did you hear what I said in the beginning of the podcast with no. Alex and he didn't even hear it? Oh, wait, no. I want to hear that. I mentioned, because uh, he said he bought a f- <laughs> uh, Yeah. And I said it out loud and he didn't hear me. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we're at like an hour and a half, so fuck all. All right, right bye, leaving. Camden. Fuck off. Fuck you too. There's <laughs> bye, gonna be so Camden. many goddamn censors. Before I go. <laughs> Oh my god, kill yourself. That's one bleep for every audio clip you guys send me. And then there were two. This is like this is like a Christmas Eve story. Like, yeah, yeah. Like they were the ghosts of the past or something. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's all boring. And we were talking about the Green yeah. Reaper, that's the future. Oh he's gonna show up in your door, like right now. No, it's Spencer's cause you know, he's Spencer. Yeah. He's Spencer, he's short. Yeah. The Spencer he peed tree. In the toilet on camera what the hell's wrong with yeah, you? yeah it was red so daniel to me first of all i always thought that we worked really well together in deep sheet videos like we were able to build off of each other for comedic purposes just like jokes and references on top of references just like really fast that yeah. was like always to me like the most fun part of hanging out with you or all like the times we gang raped spencer oh my god the <laughs> mutation mondays episode two oh, that one was crap. bad that oh, one got holy. to pretty pretty dangerous levels of <laughs> of teasing. <laughs> I I bet at least one time we've had to make Spencer cry. Do you think? Do you oh think we've God. ever made him cry? I hope not. I'd feel bad if we did. It's, yeah. See, I would feel bad, but I think there'd be a sense of accomplishment too. <laughs> <laughs> like that was your achievement. It's been my achievement all this time. <laughs>
<laughs> Magic mushrooms suck. Made Spencer cry. <laughs> Hashtag Made Spencer cry 2016. <laughs> maybe um, maybe if Trump uses that as his slogan, he'll get, people will get more favor towards him. <laughs> just he just gets up for his next speech. Hashtag Make Spencer cry 2016. Magic mushrooms suck. We, we got to build a wall around them. <laughs> we got to build that in this wall, country. chase it in with lava, and throw all the magic mushrooms in there. People are going to start sniffing them and eating them. And then they're going to start raping each other. It's wrong. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Oh, God. They're raping each other again. Uh, oh, yeah. We've get, we've definitely gangrene raped Spencer so many times. In, yeah. In just building up off of each other. Yeah. Too also, you were my biggest competition in like any time we would play a game, especially first person shooters and especially Halo. You were always my biggest competition. Like, yeah, it would which, always end up being me and you at the top of the leaderboards, which always it, it kind of sucks at the same time because we can never be on the same team for anything. Yeah, that too. So whenever like 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 a Minecraft team battle, like mm-hmm. all that stuff, we could never be on the same team just because yeah. of the fact that um we were both like pretty much equals mm-hmm. when it came to this stuff did so, you ever go easy on me uh it, it only in call of duty okay ah call of duty my god i lost my left nut playing that game <laughs> i i don't know why i can't wrap my brain around that game you're obviously way better in call of duty than than me like spencer's better than me like pretty much everyone's better than me in call of duty i don't know why i just am not good at that game you're not bad at um one in the chamber one of the cha- that was that one during the live stream. Yeah, that was yeah, you like, like one of my most proudest moments ever. Yeah, that was a Jesus took the controller from my hands and did it for me somehow. It was amazing. Like, did we live stream the moment where me and you were on a team versus uh, a full lobby of other people for uh, SWAT? Did we live stream know, that? I don't know if that was in a live stream. It was. I think it was. Uh, it was one of the filmings for um, Spartan Super Soldier, probably. And we had pretty much all the Deep Sheet members, and they were on a separate team, and it was just me and you versus them and the entire rest of oh, the lobby. Oh, yeah, so yes, yeah. It was it a was, 2v14. It was after a Spartan Super Soldier episode, and it wasn't even a close score. Yeah, we won by yeah, a good amount. That was the only time Chris and I got to be on a team, really. Yeah, it was <laughs> It was pretty cool. It was like, there like was, a 2v14 in and SWAT. If I remember correctly, didn't we both get the same score, too? I, like I, we honestly, both got I don't remember, kills. but we probably or like I, maybe like you got one more kill, but I had one less death or something. Yeah, it, like that. it was something like that. Like it yeah. was, it was very close. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, and then there was a time in Halo where it was, um, it was me and you by ourselves on a team in grip ball against a, the other team was just all inheritors. Oh, I remember that. And That's when you unlocked your potential. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally, we're in a full lobby, and. It was me and Chris were the only ones. The other, there was a, all friends. The enemy team was all inheritors. Two guys on our team were inheritors, and they were all lobbied up to each other, and they were grip ball yep. boosted. So it was a six v so, two in grip ball. Yes. So Chris was with me at first, and then he decides he's like, you know what? No one's killing each other or whatnot. They're just stalling out the timer to get more credits. You know what? Let's join them, Daniel. So I'm like, first I'm like, okay, whatever, we'll join them. So no, the the other team decides to score, and I'm like, no, I want my credits. Yeah. And Chris, and Chris is like, no, but they're spawn killing us, and I don't want to get spawn killed because of you. So, I'm I'm gonna help them. So. Yep. So, so it became a seven v one. So it was a seven v one. I somehow took all of them on and won the game. <laughs> you you like kept spawning and getting spawn killed, and you would escape and get the ball and end up scoring. Like it like, was insane. Like, Literally seven people were trying to stop you, and you would just charge in, and somehow you managed to do it, and you won the game for us. Yeah, that was like that was one of my proudest moments. <laughs> I was like seven v one inheritors and Chris, I got this. I I like stopped even trying. I was just proud of you. I was like that. Write that down in the books. Put it on your resume when you apply like for chasing a job. me down, swinging your hammer. Go, Daniel. Go. Is he yeah. trying to kill me? i was like just tell that to the tell that to them later when you're applying for a job so what what are, what are your skills well i uh won a game of griff ball in a 7v1 you're hired yeah come on go just 
Yeah, we, you want a hundred. You're the new salary. CEO. We're you can you've been promoted the about guy five just, times the, already. The guy just takes his name tag off, just crosses his yeah. name off, hands it to me. He's like, he's like, you have my position. Just yeah. just go home, man. <laughs> You're a soldier. You deserve this and much more. <laughs> Just, just, just hearing this makes me want to give this to you and just leave everything behind. The keys to the company, just the whole thing. <laughs> this company means nothing compared to what you just told me. <laughs> Make it better. <laughs> he goes home, just buys an Xbox and Halo Reach starts just starts practicing. Yeah. And then and then like years down the line, you're sitting at your desk and someone walks in and you're like, I sense a distur I sense a <laughs> I sense a feeling. A feeling I haven't felt since. And then he walks in and he's like, Hello? <laughs> and you're just like you're back. He's like, I did the impossible. And you're like, 7v1 in Griff Ball? He's like, better. <laughs> like, what would be better than 7v1 in Griff Ball? Like, if they increased it to like an 8v8 or something like that? I guess. Would you hand him the name tag if he like walks in and says, I want a 1v15 in Griff Ball? <laughs> well, it depends. Like, I mean, have I got enough money from the company? Sure. But <laughs> you think logically. You're like, hold up, exactly. I gotta think about this. I'm exactly. not gonna be an idiot like you were. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I, I gave up my company. I gave up my my billion dollar salary, <laughs> just just to practice this feat that you accomplished, and yep. just to perfect the art and top it. And after yep. five years, I finally did the impossible. So can I have my company back? It's like, <laughs> no, man. You're an yeah, idiot, you just sit there like, no, you fucking idiot. You gave it up. I love this shit. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can be the next janitor, maybe. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you. I'll let you know when a spot is open. <laughs> you can be my secretary. <laughs> yeah, you can be my secretary. Be my Spencer. <laughs> Remind me of things I need to do since I can't remember them myself. You just have to, you know what? Let me cut your legs off so you can be just as short. Yeah. <laughs> can I call you Javier? <laughs> What's your name? Oh, Thomas? No, you're Javier now. <laughs> You respond to Javier from now on. You know what? I think I can get you a job. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend? Have you <laughs> All right, good. That's one of the requirements. Did you <laughs> Oh, you chicken out. Good. <laughs> Holy crap. And you're not taller than me. That's good. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Damn. Daniel. <laughs> we invented that we invented that yeah we did spencer. we did technically spencer started that like yep. way before that became famous it was in the deep she plays black ops 2 that video was recorded months before it was ever released and at one point daniel does something to piss spencer off and he goes damn it daniel and i was like damn it daniel the new tv show yeah and it was it was a famous quote before then and then, like, a couple months after that, damn Daniel became a thing. And we were like, we invented that before them. I guarantee I guarantee they watched our video and just, like, like, yo, that's a good idea. And yeah. then, like, they just kept going off of it and just kept building up on it. Yep. Which Years down the line, the, they'll, they'll admit it. They'll let's, be like, all right, we stole it from a group. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, excuse me, damn it, Daniel is uh, its own property. Yeah, for real. It's monetized where, in a YouTube video. Yeah, it's like, wait, so Damon Daniel, it's a show. Yes, sir. Uh, where is it aired? Uh, nowhere yet. Do you have an episode made? No, sir. When when will it be done? When it's on? 2000 Never. 2000 Never is a year. Uh, Damon Daniel, episode one will air. The pilot. The pilot, yeah. If we had to make a show about you, what would it, what would it be about? Like, what would Damon Daniel be about? I don't know. It would probably be a show about how... You piss us off. It, 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 more or less. It'd probably be about, like, um, you know, life giving me a set of rules that I find how to twist and break <laughs> and getting around. That's what I would do during Deep Sheep uh, games. I would ask you, okay, how can you yeah, cheat this? Yeah, literally, I was the official beta tester for the game. Yep. <laughs> Chris would invite me onto the world and be like, all right, I give you a half an hour, find a way to break the game. <laughs> and he would do it almost every time. I'd be like, damn it, I gotta fix it. Damn it, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> like literally I, i'm the pro at breaking stuff like before minecraft like allowed you to just write whatever on signs like i always found a way to get around the censoring and everything like i was a pro yep. with it i was a huh. straight pro <laughs> hunger games everything. one was the like big introduction to that when 
you turned on your name and I was like, I didn't know Chris you could like, do that. I'm looking at a map right now. How come I can't see you? I was like, you can turn it off. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> to be fair, I'm, I didn't care if I won or lost the sudden death. I just wanted the ending to be exciting. That's why I was pissed about. It was like, really? That's how it ends? <laughs> I love the way you kill me and you immediately go, I win. <laughs> you were so proud. I was like, what? <laughs> you didn't even know what was going on. You didn't even get to turn around. I didn't. I was looking in the fucking chest. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I thought for sure you knew because nope. um, as soon as I show up, you hear, like, Alex and, like, everyone just got real quiet. They're like, they're like oh, oh, oh. And they just got, like, real quiet. And then you, like, didn't even sense anything. You just kept walking straight well, through the chest. Because I was tuning everything out. I was so focused trying to find Yeah, because you. they kept talking over it, like, the entire time. Mm-hmm. You, like, you kept saying, like, guys, be quiet. I need to focus and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And they just kept going on and following you and everything. Yep. Oh, it was great. Yeah, and Her then games uh, wanted to end up being good though. Yeah, it it ended was. up being a good video. It was. But then there was um Ultimate Minecraft Champion against Earliest Cloud. <laughs> Can I go outside the arena? Um I guess. <laughs> You're just gonna waste your time, I but I mean I don't see why you can't. I'm like, okay, what are you doing? Get some wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that moment. Get me some wood. <laughs> Like, what are you doing? You're wasting your time. You'll see. And I was like, I'm like talking the whole time. I'm like singing to myself. I'm like, it's a spider. <laughs> it was chasing me. And then, I just and really, this cloud was just like, wait, he's, like, he's is going he, around, is isn't he? Is he, he? he building around? <laughs> You're like, yup. I got my voice just cracked. Yeah. And the announcer voice, he's like, yup. <laughs> so, yep. I just built around. He's like, what? Yeah. This, that's cheating i'm like no you just didn't think to do it <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i always felt bad the way you lost well you handed camden the victory in ultimate <laughs> minecraft champion i literally gave him stuff because like yeah you gave him stuff like you gave him so many chances like camden was i'm sorry he was mentally retarded during that <laughs> video he could not find his way around his dick it was bad but and we went for entertainment. We figured if Daniel, you know, just beat him every single time, Daniel had five lives or whatever, like, the video would be kind of boring. And I was hoping you would win the final battle. And it sucked that you didn't. But it was a it was a sacrifice that was appreciated, Daniel. I, you know, I always try to take one for the team. Yep. You took one for the team in uh, Game of Thrones. But, you know, you took one for the team for that. You took one for the team in Hunger Games 3, the real version uh, yep. pretty much just attacking Spencer. <clears throat> I took one for the team twice in that Hunger Games three. When I, was the first time? I won the Hunger Games, then was like, yeah, okay, let's. Oh, okay, work. yeah, yeah, and then, and then, uh, the I just instantly attacked Spencer to try and make it interesting, and then through that death, Camden was able to escape. Yep. Sacrifices. Again, again, I I gave my life so Camden could prosper. <laughs> yep, that's the only way Camden prospers. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag me vote for Annie. <laughs> Donnie Binks. <laughs> Hashtag Donnie Binks. <laughs> oh. So in the future, so you will no longer be in any deep sheet videos. No. Now the question is though, um, and I was asking you this the other this the other day, and we're not sure what the full answer is we're, in regards to Spartan Super Soldier, because <clears throat> it's something that takes so much, and I don't know if it will ever be complete because it's like it takes so much work. But I'm wondering, would you be willing to continue voicing the Daniel character? See, now I will leave this one up to you. I will be willing to voice it for as long as possible. But if something were to come up in the future to prevent me from doing that, like, I don't want to give you my full 100% word that I'll be able to voice the character from now to the end of the series. Yeah. But I will try to as long as possible. So I will leave that option up to you, whether you feel like, you know, okay, I'll use his voice for as long as possible. Or if you might just want to, you know, give a new voice to the character Mm-hmm. Or, or do something with the character or whatever for safety reasons or whatever. 
So yeah. I will leave that one up to you, but I will be more than willing to voice it for as long as I can. Now, to get a little serious in the podcast, we've been friends for, what, five years now? Yeah. And you said so yourself that choosing to leave Deep Sheep was the hardest decision of your life. Yes. Easy. And it's definitely something that has affected us in a way. And uh, we respect your decision no matter what. You know, we, I, I, my biggest fear was that I was bringing the six of you into something that you didn't want. And I've always wanted just complete honesty. And that's, I'm glad we have that where we can basically agree to disagree in a way. And with what I'm thinking, if I keep you voicing Daniel uh, and Spartan Super Soldier, um, because we were talking about this, how keeping a friendship online over the internet for as long as we have is not an easy feat. No, not at all. Yeah, like for me, it's very frustrating in the world nowadays where like, you know, especially like when you graduate high school, everyone always says, oh, we'll keep in touch, you know, oh, we got Facebook, stuff like that. Realistically, fr Facebook doesn't really keep you together as friends, you know, no, like, not at all. like Skype, we've kept this for so long and it has definitely gotten more and more difficult over the years, but we've kept it somehow. And our biggest problem was if Daniel's no longer part of Deep Sheep, like, what will be the reason for us to talk to each other again? Because the dream is that the rest of us will end up living, you know, in the same apartment. Like we'll all be living together and, you know, we'll have a company. <clears throat> and if you were to still be a part of it, it just wouldn't be the same. You know, you'd be calling us on Skype and stuff and asking, you know, how things are doing and stuff like that. It just wouldn't work at all. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, I, I don't want this to be, especially after this podcast. And, you know, that was the first time all seven of us have been in a call since, Maybe the time you told us you were leaving. I'm pretty like, sure it was. It, it very rarely happens. And especially after that and just listening to this, I, I don't want this to be like the last time we really get to talk to each other as friends. Yeah. And no. I feel like for convenience purposes that if I keep you voicing the Daniel character, it will give us a reason to talk to each other still. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. it won't just be... The chances of us just happen to be online doing nothing or is super slim. That's never going to happen anymore. Yeah. But if we have a reason to talk to each other, because even though technically, yeah, it's like, hey, I, I need you for this. Like, you're useful to me. At the same time, it just brings out the fun in us. Like, yeah. being able to make these videos and be deep sheep in the first place has kept us together because it gave us a purpose. Mm -hmm. it, it gave us a goal to reach towards and that's what's kept us together and just the having fun times and our personalities molding together is just a byproduct of that and that's something i never want to forget yeah no like going back to what you were saying at the beginning of the things you were saying like <laughs> <laughs> i said a lot of things you did i already but... forgot them <laughs> spencer probably kept track of that though he probably wrote it down you know the fact that i am leaving deep sheep basically the way that i look at it just means i'm not really in official deep sheep videos anymore that's mm -hmm. that's the way that i choose to view it because just because i'm not like in those official videos anymore doesn't mean or, or also that i'm choosing not to continue with the company and like move out and everything in california and whatnot that doesn't mean that i'm choosing to abandon you guys as friends because a friendship is something that or like a friendship that's been forged the way ours has and whatnot that's something that lasts unless a circumstance causes it to break mm -hmm. and the whole you know um you know you don't want this to be the last time we really ever talk or whatever like you know that that wouldn't happen and i told you the last time we talked a couple days ago that you know even though i'm not in the company anymore i still you know, I'll always be here for you guys to talk to. If you guys need someone to talk to and whatnot, I'm still your guys' friend and I'll be here for you guys. And I'm going to support Deep Sheep all the way. And with Spartan Super Soldier, I completely agree where, you know, if there's still that my, me voice acting the character, then mm -hmm. there's more of an excuse to to communicate. And Gives whatnot. us a reason. Yes. Yeah. So I think also to the audio i don't know when this video will be posted because there's a fuck ton of editing i need to do <laughs> two hour video jeez yeah with like a thousand sensors <laughs> anyway um 
What the fuck was I saying? <laughs> Completely forgot. Oh, the, when this video comes out, I've been working on Spartan Super Soldier Episode 8 for months now. And mm -hmm. I'm getting close to finishing it. And while some of it is not as great as I wish it could be, and I am kind of slowly devolving into, I just want to get it done. I'm too close to being done to give a shit. I do think that the scenes with you, Daniel, in particular, because this is a big episode for your character. You were only introduced last episode in episode seven, your favorite number. I meant to do that. Um, I appreciate that. I feel like watching that episode, I hope that does something for Deep Sheep in general, just to see that. Because we actually began that episode directly after episode seven was finished over a year ago in January. Mm -hmm. The very first scene that's shown was filmed back then. And a lot of the audio was filmed back then. In fact, most of it. Uh, all of your yeah. audio was filmed back then. Uh, and Robbie's was too, and Spencer's was. And what's funny is that was officially when Spencer and Robbie had officially passed, like, main point of puberty. Because you listen to the voices then and now, and it really hasn't changed that much. It's amazing to think that we remember the days when Robbie was a squeaker. Or Spencer mm -hmm. was really high voice and stuff, like... We've grown up through those stages. It's crazy to think, too, like, you know, you, we say five years, and when you think of five, it just seems like a small number. Mm -hmm. But you put that in the perspective of the actual memories, and you think back at certain memories, and it feels like ages ago. Like, yeah. Like, I can remember, you know, the nights where, you know, a few of us were up till like 4 a.m setting custom challenges on halo reach trying to get mm -hmm. those extra credits and everything to rank up our characters that way we have more credits for spartan super soldier armor and whatnot like i remember those nights of grinding and then also you know just like messing around in custom games for hours just like having fun and whatnot yep or like, just flying yeah. around in forge or forge mode or like a uh, creative mode minecraft mm -hmm. we would just fly around and talk for hours yeah just not even doing anything because the way we used to communicate was through xbox party chat mm -hmm. and then we all decided to use skype which was like a, a great decision <laughs> yeah way better but, way better quality yeah. less lag yeah but like the five years just seems so vague but when you think about that like five years ago halo reach would have like halo reach is almost five years old or, or almost six years old my bad Damn. like you think about that, and we met each other shortly after Halo Reach came out. Like, you think about that far back, like, and, like, remember, like, the time, first times we were, like, playing Halo Reach, we met each other not too long after that. Mm hmm And, like, that's, like, a long time ago. I met every single one of you through, like, Halo Reach, pretty much. Yeah. Were you the second to last member of Deep Sheep I met? Pretty sure you were. Nathan was the last. The first one, other than Camden, because I knew him since I was a kid, pretty sure the first one on Xbox was Alex. He was among the first 100 people who sent me a friend request, and I accepted it. The only After thing him, I know, I, your, your July birthday, right? June or July, I always yeah, get this confused. July 31st. I met you on your birthday. Wow. That's huh. the first time I ever talked to you. I joined, I remember it was Death From Above, Leo. Um, you and him were in a party. You had just gotten GTA 4 for your birthday, and you you and him were, like, messing around in it, trying to run each other over and whatnot, and I joined Leo's party, and you were in there, and me and you chatted for, you know, a little bit, and then you, like, right away, you're like, do you have GTA 4? And I'm like, no, I don't, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, because, like, you just got it, and you were, like, yeah. really excited playing it and everything, and so, um, you know, the first time I didn't get added to the friends list but yeah. <laughs> but like we we talked again like a week later or whatever i was playing like black ops on my own again you and leo were playing gta 4 and mm -hmm. then just like we we talked a few times here and there and it wasn't like you know there wasn't an instant connection because we, we never played halo reach together right away and that was like yeah. the only game we both had yeah. so so then uh we, we played halo reach like once or twice in like custom game lobbies where we just had like everyone in there like mm -hmm. you know, like the, like Leo and Sean and like back when like everyone played video games, yeah. and then uh, then like the first time we really like hung out was when we were playing Halo Three. Mm -hmm. We did the Halo Three campaign co op when it was a legendary difficulty. Well, yep. the biggest betray spree I've ever literally been oh a part of. Goodness. Literally, we Chris, I I I I swear you betrayed me first, and it was an accident. So probably then, so 
we're we're trying to play through on legendary chris you know being an achievement whore that he is trying to get achievements yeah. and whatnot <laughs> and i was online so he just invited me to the party and whatnot he's like yeah you have halo 3 right and i'm like yeah so so we got on we started playing halo 3 campaign we we're playing on legendary so somehow along the line one of us got betrayed and i swear chris betrayed me first and i swear it was an accident but, probably but i, had I never to get asked even. for it i had to get even i had to get revenge so i betrayed chris so that didn't fly too well with Chris, so he mm-hmm. decided to betray me. I'm like, what the heck? I was in the right, so I decided to betray Chris. So literally, I, I, I'm not even joking, you guys. Literally, for like the next hour, we just sat there betraying each other as soon as we Over and in. over and over <laughs> and over. <laughs> literally, for like an hour straight, just kept killing each other. And every now and then, I would try to just move on. Like, <laughs> I would hunt you down. right back in. I, I would hunt you down. Like, we would get, like, Chris would clear out, like, a wave of enemies, and, like, he he was probably, like, just inches away from a checkpoint, and yep. I was just sitting there waiting, and I'm like, nope, <laughs> just get Betray him, me. Bring him back in. And ever oh, since man. that moment. <laughs> yep, and that, that was the beginning of, of a beautiful friendship. Oh, that's great. Well, Deep Sheep will always consider you a part of us, Daniel. You may not be in future videos. You may just be voicing a character. You may be our Ray, but fuck it. We're, we're, we're friends to the end. Sounds like a plan to me. I'm always going to cherish the memories that we've had. And even though we won't be doing a whole lot together in the future, I am almost certain that we will make more memories. Sounds so, great to me. Thank you for being a part of Deep Sheep for these crazy five fucking years it's been a great journey so Real see you around daniel see ya chris gg no re <laughs> maybe <laughs> only in halo 3 yeah wait that rhyme be- oh! <gasps> <gasps> on a betraying spree <gasps> super hot fire and that is the end of this podcast with Deep Sheep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.